Hello folks, today we're going to be talking about the, the differences between two-stroke and four-stroke when it comes to small engine application powering lawn equipment like lawn mowers, blowers, and uh, string trimmers or weed whackers, whatever you want to call them. So if you have not noticed, most lawn mowers use four-stroke engines, obviously vertical shaft, and most uh, equipment that you carry around um, like blowers and weed whackers use two-stroke, small two-stroke engines. Why is that? How come you don't see any two-stroke lawnmowers or any four-stroke equipment? And you do, there are some exceptions which we'll get into later in the video towards the end, but for the most part four-stroke and two-stroke. And there's a reason for that and we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in this video why that is the case. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the weight. So it's a pretty obvious one but four strokes way more. They just do. Two strokes, especially these small ones, are way lighter. I mean, a Briggs Quantum like this is almost 30 pounds, actually, from what I've researched. So it makes sense to put a heavier engine on a lawnmower with wheels, obviously, and to put the lighter two stroke and stuff that you're going to have to be carrying around. The next one is power. So two strokes can produce more power in a smaller package, basically. So four strokes, as their name implies, have four strokes. And as the piston comes down, you have your intake stroke, compression stroke, combustion stroke, and exhaust. So another way of saying that is uh, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. <laughs> but basically, there's only one stroke that is making power, and that's the, well, the power stroke. So out of four, you're only having one that's making power. So that's not terribly efficient in terms of power. Whereas a two stroke, every stroke, so every time the piston goes down is having a power stroke, every single time. Basically the two stroke is able to achieve the same thing the four stroke does, but in only two cycles instead of, instead of four. That brings us to our next point, which is complexity. So these are light, they're able to make power uh, for a small package and they're not very complex. If you, if you look at the cylinder of a two-stroke there's no valve train, there's no camshaft, there's just a crankshaft, a connecting rod, and a piston and that's your entire moving, that's, that's all there is that's moving <laughs> in your engine. There's, there's no valve train, nothing like that, so it's, way, it's a lot less complex <coughs> and so that makes it ideal for these light applications because you got, you know, a lot of quite a bit of power in a small light package that's not very complex. So at this point you're probably saying, well, why don't uh, why aren't two strokes used more widely if they have all those advantages? And that's where we get into some of the disadvantages. One of the primary differences between four stroke and two stroke engine in the small engine world is two strokes are made to rev way higher. The RPM range is much different. Like, most lawnmower engines are set at 3,000 RPM, and that's just what they run at. And these usually can get up to like 7,000, 8,000 RPM. Oh, here's Gnocchi. That's our kitty. She's going to be wandering around in this video. And another major difference is two strokes, there is no there is no governor. It's just how far you press the trigger is how much throttle it gives it. So it's made to run on full throttle, wide open, and for long periods of time and it doesn't overheat or anything like that. This engine, these engines for lawnmowers, four strokes, they are not meant to do that. They have a governor that keeps the throttle valve just a little bit open to run it at a certain RPM and then as you go through grass and the engine starts to bog down a little bit it actually the governor opens up the throttle valve a little bit more to uh, allow the engine to rev back up to speed so they're not meant to ride to run full out on full throttle all the time they would not like that they would over rev and uh, you'd probably overheat your engine and it would not be a good day that being said, these engines do produce a lot more torque than their two-stroke counterparts. 
because they make less RPM but more torque. And that's good for spinning a lawnmower blade, but just spinning a, a fan, an impeller in a leaf blower, you don't really need a ton of torque just to get it up to speed. So for cooling, they both have the same cooling system, and that is air cooling. So the four stroke has on the top of the flywheel, there is uh, an impeller that with blades that as it spins it blows air out radially which gets captured by the blower housing and directed over the fins of the engine to help dissipate heat. Two stroke uses the exact same system so they're uh, identical in that respect in terms of their uh, cooling system. Why don't small engines use water cooling? How come they use air cooling? Well water cooling requires a more bulky system because you have to have a radiator and uh, coolant and your radiator pipes and a fan to blow through uh, to pull air through the radiator so it's a lot more bulky of a system and you don't really need that for a small engine so air cooled uh, makes sense so they're cooled the same but do they use the same lubrication system and the answer is no, their lubrication system is much different. So for a four-stroke engine that would be that you would find on a lawnmower, they have oil sitting in the bottom of the crankcase. And that oil is splashed around by most lawnmower engines. They use what's called a splash oiling system, where they have a dipper of some sort that splashes oil around in the crankcase and lubricates everything. So you don't, you're, since there's no oil pump, you're usually not working with a ton of oil pressure, but it still is enough to lubricate everything. And some lawnmower engines actually do have an oil pump. But on the other hand, your two-strokes, they, they don't have any oil in the engine. All you have is a gas tank. So then how do they get lubrication? Well, as I'm sure you're aware, you put oil in with the gas. A uh, small amount, usually a 50 to 1 ratio, which is what most... Um, most two strokes take and basically as the fuel is atomized in the carburetor mixed with that oil it goes first gets sucked into the crankcase and lubricates everything in the crankcase and then it gets pulled up into the combustion chamber and gets burned so there are some disadvantages and advantages to that system uh, first off the advantages are it you, you don't have to ever change the oil so from a maintenance standpoint, it's easier because there's no oil changes. You just put in the gas and that's it. If you mix it correctly, it'll be just fine. The bad news is it's not as good of a lubrication system. Since you're working with such a small amount, you have to because otherwise you're going to be burning a ton of oil and the engine's not going to run good at all. So you have to burn just a tiny bit, which means your engine doesn't get a ton of lubrication. So they tend to not last as long as a result of that. And then we have emissions and noise. Now. This stuff for a state of California is very important, <laughs> but we have the four-stroke, which, you know, it's, it's a small engine, so they're not, they don't have catalytic converters or anything, but generally they're, there's not too many emissions, and they're not too terribly loud with a good muffler. Uh, two-stroke, there's more emissions, because as we just talked about with the lubrication system, there's oil that is being burnt as a fundamental part of its lubrication, so it's just going to get burnt and that causes more, you know, more emissions. You have smoking and stuff as a result of the oil being burnt. So you can't get away from that and that's just an inherent drawback of two-stroke is that they don't burn as clean. And another thing, they make more noise. They're always going to be louder uh, than a four-stroke, even with a good muffler. thing is fuel efficiency. So in today's modern world, fuel efficiency is very important, especially for production cars and vehicles on the road, which is why you see mostly four strokes in the vehicle world, because they're more fuel efficient is one of the main reasons. And since the governor only allows it to go to a certain RPM, so the throttle is actually mostly closed or only partially open most of the time when the engine's running, it doesn't burn much fuel. It just sips on fuel. And with the two-stroke, it just doesn't get that kind of fuel economy because you're, kind of, you're meant to run it wide open most of the time. 
and that's the way it runs the best. And when you do that, you're dumping in the max amount of fuel into the engine, and it just uses more fuel. So they're less fuel efficient, unfortunately. And then we have maintenance. So we got into this a little bit with the lubrication, but obviously there's no oil changes with two-stroke, so it is easier maintenance. And there's other reasons why, because you don't have to adjust the valves or anything. Now this is a flathead, this four-stroke um, Briggs Quantum here is a flathead, so you don't have to adjust the valve lash or anything like that. But with an overhead valve, four-stroke, you definitely do have to check that every once in a while to make sure it's not getting out of spec. With the two-stroke, there's none of that. There's no valve train, there's nothing. There's no oil to check. So the maintenance is really non-existent. You're just putting gas in it, maybe cleaning or changing the spark plug every once in a while, and that's it. So maintenance, this is much easier than a four-stroke. But there's still the carburetor maintenance, you know, making sure you don't leave old fuel in it for a long time, especially not ethanol fuel. So next is the reliability and longevity of the engine. So since these engines have a better lubrication system and they're generally built a little heavier duty because they're meant to be you know on something like a lawnmower where they can afford to have a little more weight they do tend to last longer they're more reliable uh, they're also sometimes easier to start than a two-stroke so that's an important thing to consider now there are exceptions in the small engine world where there has been two strokes used on like a lawnmower in the case of like, I believe Lawn Boy, a lawnmower company at one point used a two-stroke engine on their lawnmower and it worked pretty good I guess, but there's a reason why, they're, why you don't see that very often because they're just, not, they're just not suited as well to that application. And then you also do see some four-stroke weed whackers and stuff. I don't know if I've, I don't think I've ever seen a four-stroke leaf blower, but there probably is one that exists. But you know, they're heavier. We went through all the advantages and disadvantages. So in summary, two strokes are lighter, more powerful for the same size, and have less complexity and lower maintenance requirements, which make them all great candidates for small, light, handheld lawn equipment like leaf blowers and string trimmers. But four strokes have the benefit of having better lubrication, better fuel economy, less emissions, less noise, and they generally last and hold up longer to extended use. So that is it. I hope you now have a better understanding of why you mostly see four strokes on lawnmowers and mostly see two strokes on a lot of the handheld stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it, and I will see you next time.